and I'm checking the area of Florida. So I'm starting with HTML and I recommend all of you guys to always search with HTML first. And the reason why HTML in searching for like a HTML um, job that's mentioning HTML is just because that will show you all of the web development jobs that's out there. You know, sometimes people be like, oh, I want to be a React developer. I want to be a, uh, I don't know, an Angular developer. And they only search Angular or they only search React. And that's a big mistake because not every company is going to mention React or Angular in the title. But what they will mention in pretty much anything that has to do with web development, they're always going to mention HTML and CSS. So that will give you the full results. So again, uh, here in Florida, 3,223 jobs. So let's look at what they have. Low online marketing. Let me see. Senior full stack lamp developer, 90K to 130K. Let me see. Boom. PHP, MySQL. Nice. Look at this. HTML coder right <laughs> sometimes people be like yo there's no html jobs <laughs> this is not real okay 63 to 80k not bad okay we need experience html coder for our team <laughs> i love what they, they you use html code what is the html coder somebody tell me that you get what i'm saying like <laughs> Imagine showing up to your desk, right? And, and it says uh, Joe Santos, HTML coder on your on your little tag. <laughs> or when you gotta walk in with your, your your little badge at work, your your little office badge, you're like, "Yo, what do you do?" HTML coder, my guy. <laughs> yeah, man, it's people's title is crazy right okay we need an experienced html coder for our team this position requires html5 css3 as well as some experience with photoshop no creative skills expected okay pretty much what they're telling you here is like you need to know how to at least rem like remove or or take out the assets from a psd that's it experience in javascript is not required but it's a plus Again, this is not bad for anybody that's in Orlando right now, 63 to 80K per year. That's pretty solid. Okay. Uh, great opportunity to become HTML CSS expert. Da, da, da. Uh, join collaboration team member to solve. Okay. Regular hours, 8 to 17 p.m. I don't know what 17 p.m. was that. That's like what? Five, six. Uh, responsibilities, handling customer support tickets, assisting customers on the phone, creating pages for new school websites. Uh, ideal is a team player, great communicator. Okay, hourly wage plus overtime. Okay, they'll pay you some overtime. That's not bad. Uh, let me see. 28 days ago, so okay, it's not bad. Been active for 23 days, so that means they're still looking for somebody. Educational Networks Inc. I wonder what they do, right? We build websites for K-12 schools and school districts. Oh, that's nice. You see, this is a cool project. This is something I wouldn't mind working there. That seems like a cool um, company that I'll be happy to work at. Uh, Educational Networks Inc. And that's something that you could learn. Like, um, I worked at a company where we built a LMS, which is a learning management system before and i can tell you right now like that really helped me out a lot in a lot of the things that i do now because you never know you never know what you're going to be able to to do later on as a developer so i think this is a great opportunity for some of you guys definitely go check it out if you guys can okay so let me see what else dun, 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 we need to put some music in here. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see. Web software engineer, 80,000. This is to 120. This is in Sanford. Okay, position responsible for design, developer supporting. Okay, web APIs, bachelor's CS. Okay, proficiency sharp. Okay, so it's like a .NET position. 
Okay, let me go in and flip this to be for the date. So the latest one, just post it in Sarasota. Full stack developer. Okay, exclude scrum. Da, da, da. Let me see. See what they have here. Uh, profession HTML says Git, JavaScript, Node, uh, React Native, TypeScript, experience with professional coding C sharp. So this is like a .NET, .NET position. Uh, Web store on store front end development manager, front end development manager. <laughs> Ninety one to one hundred sixteen thousand. Okay. Advanced TypeScript. Okay. Uh, bundling. Okay. Basic stuff, right? Not that difficult. Uh, I hate when they do this. Our hiring process has three levels: a phone interview with a team lead, manager, or director to check about the company position most importantly learn about you we'll contact you after to schedule the next round of interviews or let you know if we don't think you're the right fit okay a panel interview with a manager a team lead director design a fellow developer we will ask technical questions relating to your skills general questions assessment communication uh final interview with vice president of design will either make you an offer or let you know it will feel that you're not good fit um <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah that's funny i i just i i hate when companies be like oh we're gonna do three rounds why <laughs> for what wasting time okay wordpress developer 75k a year PPC specialist this is pay per click. This is like for people that do um, marketing and campaign management. Let's see, a student assistant, web developer, ten to twelve dollars an hour part time. Do you want to work in the University of Florida? Right, that's not bad for a student. If you're like in college and you want to get some experience within the school, that's not bad. Uh, let me see, email marketing specialist, fifty to sixty four k. Let's see what they're asking for. Create, deploy email campaigns, consult promoters, okay? Ensure can spam, COP, GDP, GDPR, da, 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 DMA compliance, etc. Uh, knowledge of email campaign uh, using Salesforce Marketing Cloud, exact targets required. Knowledge of AMP script, Salesforce. This is like, this is the problem too sometimes. This company felt entertainment. They want to pay somebody 50 to 64K for knowing Salesforce, right? But the thing is, this is not a 50 to 60K job. The moment you know Salesforce, right? And you want somebody that has experience with this, that person's going to charge 90, 100, $120,000 and up. Double the amount that they're willing to pay. I don't know. I don't know where where they think they're gonna find somebody that's gonna fit the description. They're gonna have to go in and hire just a regular individual, right? A regular new developer, right? And for those of you guys that's interested in in this position, yes, you apply because what's gonna happen is that you can apply to this job. They're not gonna find anybody with the skills at this price range that they have. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna have to settle with one of you guys that have no experience which is fine it's a good look for you guys they will have to train you on this right <laughs> this is what's gonna happen they will have to train you on this on salesforce right you do a year there and then you leave from there and you get a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> like <laughs> yeah you know, because sometimes you could be cheap but you can't be that cheap like if you you're trying to hire somebody with salesforce experience no one's gonna work for less than eighty, ninety thousand dollars, and eighty thousand that's like a on the low end. Okay, sometimes this this companies they shoot themselves on the foot. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this is not bad. For Laredo, full stack PHP developer, two hundred thirty thousand to two hundred fifty thousand. Let's see what they're looking for. Uh, let's see. Okay not remote <laughs> meaning you got to work there you got to go to the office man 
Okay, we're looking for a full stack PHP developer who will lead a development of our main application and help grow the development team. This person will have a lot of freedom to make recommendation process improvement, help share da da da. Okay, experience with developing PHP, Code Igniter, really, and this is one of those things too, right? So Code Igniter is another PHP framework, but guess what? Not that many people is learning Code Igniter, right? Most people don't want to use Code Igniter. So for whatever reason, maybe their their system is already built in Code Igniter. So now instead of thinking, hey, let's go in and do a, a, a rebuild, right? And go and switch to Laravel. What they're planning on doing is they're going to continue using Code Igniter. But guess what? <laughs> No one that's out here wants to use Code Igniter. So now, on top of that, they want you to work in house. So because they want you to work in house, they're willing to pay you two hundred and thirty thousand dollars to two hundred fifty thousand dollars, right? So basically, it's costing them more money to to keep Code Igniter and pay somebody top dollar just to bring them into the team because no one wants to use Code Igniter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes you, you you know like I look at these jobs and like the job listings and I learn so much about a company. Like I don't I don't even have to work there. I already know exactly what's going on. Okay. So let me see digital ads specialist, okay, PPC, digital visualization engineer, okay, Java software lead. Let's see, let's continue looking. Java, Java, damn, it's a lot of Java jobs out here. And it's a Java, Java dude day. <laughs> Software development, Comcentric, Miami. Let's see what's going on in Miami. MIA, MIA, yo. Okay, we're seeking SDT, so full time remote, 100% remote, okay, which is not bad. Uh, design, develop, wide reaching frameworks, designs, write code, automatically verifies the quality of the uh, drive strategy, debug code, uh, bachelor's degree with five plus years of experience, strong ability to write effective Java. Okay, so they're looking for somebody that knows Java. Okay, let's continue down. Okay, let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. Let's see what else they have here. It's a lot of Java job. Damn. Oh, Java, Java, Java. Damn. Yeah, Java's big, bro. Okay. Uh, .NET also, as you can see. Like, look, man. One thing that you're noticing right now, I don't know if some of you guys are paying attention, but if you choose any of those three right there, right? Or any of the four, I will say the four towers right this is what i call the four towers right of web development number one you got php number two you got dot net number three you have java and number four javascript those four languages doesn't matter where you go in the world if you know all four of them you got a job if you're comfortable with all four of them, you got a job, which means that you know enough from each one of them to be able to join a team and be proficient and be able to be an asset to the team, then yeah, you're always gonna find a job, okay? Because that's what you're always gonna see in web development. Uh, so let's see, web developer, $100,000 a year, okay, new gig. Growing product development team is seeking web developer to help support, develop, optimize, centralized server based self hosted software distribution platform. We're seeking web developer who love to own the development uh, complex code. Okay. We will relocate you to Orlando, Florida, right? Or Auburn, Alabama, right? Where you want to go to? You want to go to Orlando? You want to go to Alabama? You know what I mean? Nobody choosing Alabama. Like <laughs> nobody's going over there. It's like, yo, bro, I'm going to Orlando. I'm taking my talents to Orlando, bro. Okay, C sharp. Okay, C sharp again. 
as you can see, this is all the jobs that we keep seeing from like C Sharp and .NET. Uh, you will see it's a hundred thousand dollars and up most of the time, right? Even though there's there's some companies that they want to be cheap, but most of the time you're gonna find them uh, to be over a hundred thousand. So let me see, front end developer, Ventura Web Design. So there's like a local company. Uh, HTML, CSS, WordPress, prior working with BigCommerce and Shopify is preferred. So this is not bad. Okay. This is also remote. So for those of you guys that's interested in the world of e-commerce, this is what this company does. Okay. Let me see. Software engineer, basketball analytics, Orlando magic. Wow. So if you want to work for the Orlando magic, Let's see, see what they're asking for. Lando Magic is looking for a software engineer who is passionate about basketball and the NBA. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. So position, present, unique opportunity to guide uh, front end tools. Deal candidate, software engineer, professional experience, recent college, graduate with strong. Okay, so pretty much they're taking anybody. Okay, uh, build a responsive, user friendly application, uh, turn it into including front office coaches, scouts, perform. Oh, cool! So, this is like more like an in house. So, this is an in house tool that they, they're looking to, to build for the Orlando Magic. Mm, not bad. Okay, um, and this is the cool thing about being a developer. Right, like you could work in, in so many different type of industries, so many different type of companies. You know, when I see people that they only focus on, oh, I want to go work at Fang. Like they have that shit in their head that I don't know who put that shit in their head. They'd be like, I need to work at Fang because when I work at Fang, it validates like I'm a good developer. Those people they've never lived. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, like. You need to go out there and go check out different industries. That's where you're really going to learn. And working on, on companies like this, shoot, isn't that shit? A, like, that's a cool project to work on. You're working on in-house tools for the coaches, for the players, for the scouts, right? Performing staff. Like, that's dope. I would love to do that. Only thing is the price. I mean, they're only paying like 70000 to 89000 That's a little bit low, bro. That's a little bit low, man. I could barely pay any of my bills. <laughs> 80000 I mean, for somebody without a family. Like right now, I'm a grown man. You know, I'm, I'm the only provider in the house, right? So I got to take care of four people. My wife, three kids, right? So $80,000 for me. $89,000, like, that's nothing, man. But if you don't have no kids, you don't got no responsibilities, or you have maybe your wife is working or something like that, then, yeah, this this could be a great opportunity, right? Uh, let me see. Deep knowledge of at least one programming language, uh, preferred JavaScript, right? So that's what they're really using. And they got Python, C++, Java, okay? Uh, one year experience, which may include internships, right? So, so pretty much they will hire anybody. Every single one of you guys that would like to work at the Orlando Magic, go apply to this job. They will they will basically hire anybody right now. That's what they're saying with this, okay? They, they're like, yo, one year experience may include internships or project work, major JavaScript frameworks such as React. Like, they pretty much, they will take anybody right now, Okay. Like, this is not a, a difficult job to get into. Okay, let me see. Ability to work out of our office. So, that's where they will catch, right? They're like, okay, you got to work inside of the office. So, if you're in Orlando, you got to go to the offices for the Orlando Magic or wherever they have their, their offices. But it's not bad. But that sucks. I hate when, you know, these companies, they only want to do in-house work it's like come on man we you know we already passed the whole corona like there's no need for us to be coming into work every single day like do partial in-house okay <laughs> let me see right into the here da, da, da. 
But yeah, man, I think we gone through a couple of jobs. Let's let's go in into the chat, man. Let's see what's going on in the chat. 